overlooked for the start of the Bruno Mars concert. By the end, though, that you could see the little fingers of fog rolling in, and that's of course why the fireworks were canceled both nights. That those fireworks have been postponed till next Tuesday, which is when we finally get a real nice westerly wind kicking in, and that'll push that fog away from the lakefront. Take a look at Viper right now. We'll show you what's in store for this weekend. We are talking at least feeling more like summer fest, not more like winter fest or fog fest. We've got a warm front on the way and that is swinging through with it. It's bringing a little bit more humidity, warmer temps and a chance for a couple spotty showers as we go into the middle of the day. Nothing too impressive, definitely not a washout, but this is a very slow moving system. This cold front could bring some stronger storms by the time we get to Monday. That's how slow moving this is. Look outside though where you're not at the lakefront, you're seeing this. Gorgeous blue skies right now looking toward Pewaukee. Just a few clouds overall, though. It's going to be a beautiful Saturday. Again, a few chances for a couple isolated showers, but I think really more of a day where you're going to need the sunscreen. Nine is the UV index today. Very high, so don't forget to keep on applying that sunscreen. If you are headed to Summerfest, I think temperatures right along the lake stick around 78 degrees, which is where we're supposed to be for this time of the year. We'll call it partly cloudy to mostly sunny at times. Again, can't roll out a couple isolated spotty showers throughout the middle of the section of the day, basically between about noon and 5 p.m. That's your best window for wet weather. Future forecast, I think it's kind of overdoing things. We get another round of rain overnight tonight, late tonight and into tomorrow morning, and I think tomorrow morning is the best chance for some showers and a few thunderstorms. Then we we clear out as we go into the afternoon and then Sunday night could see more redevelopment as we go into your Monday. That's when this cold front finally swings on through and that's going to squeeze out all the humidity and all the moisture we have in the in the air and that uh, really could bring some strong storms as well as potential for some pretty significant rainfall as well. Could be talking some heavy rain for Monday and we are under a slight risk on Monday for some of those strong storms as that cold front swings on through. So that'll get rid of some of the instability in the atmosphere. That's going to create again a couple chances for an isolated shower throughout the day today. Today temps away from Lake Michigan are staying in the 80s along the lakefront 78 degrees. If you're headed to Summerfest, I think temps will drop into the 60s by the 10 o'clock hour. So some of those uh, later side stage headliners going to be looking at temps getting a little on the cool side. Overnight lows in the 60s away from the lakefront getting even closer to 70. So mild, but then warm air starts to surge on in. We were looking at some showers and thunderstorms late tonight and into tomorrow morning, and then it gets even more warm and a bit more humid as well. 80 degrees at the lakefront even on Sunday, 83 in Waukesha. Best bet for wet weather is in the morning. And look at that dew point forecast today and tomorrow. Feeling, feeling a little humid, feeling a little sticky. Getting into Monday, though, it's going to feel very steamy before that cold front swings through Tuesday. That's when we get that westerly wind brings in the drier air, so it's going to feel more comfortable. Great night for those fireworks at Summerfest. 76 degrees for a high there. Much cooler, though, for Wednesday and Thursday. So if you're headed to the 4th of July fireworks on Thursday, I don't think fog's going to be an issue. I think you'll just need a sweatshirt. 4th of July itself looking beautiful. 74 degrees with mostly sunny skies and a chance for some showers on Saturday, Todd. Okay, thanks for the forecast, Jesse.